Hello guys, how are you all doing? As you noticed, uh, we don't post on this channel too much anymore, but we have uh, another more active channel and one of them is channel called Wire Business and I recently made a video which was really uh, really difficult to make because it, it took me about uh, I don't know maybe three four days and I thought you might be interested in this because it's quite interesting for me I, I personally made it not for you too much but mostly for me and maybe for my future kids for example because I wanted to make something to I don't know to give them some knowledge how how to be successful in life in uh, entrepreneurship and how to have success how to get rich be famous uh, and stuff like that so I, I thought you might be interested and so I, I posted here and you can uh, subscribe to our channel there to get more strategies like this okay enjoy Everybody knows Conor McGregor, one of the best MMA fighters and richest athletes in the world. But do you know the secret behind his success? If you stick till the end of this video, you're gonna find out about his tricks to become one of the best in the world. I personally used a similar mental hacks in the past. That's why I believe it works and if you use it, it can also help you to become rich and successful and live an amazing life. Connor was born in Dublin 12, which is a tough neighborhood in Ireland. His family was not rich at all. They were struggling to pay for food, to pay for mortgage. He once said in an interview that the defining moment of his life was when he was about 15 years old. That motherfucker's been a part of my shit since I'm 16. 15, 16, I start trying to play with that. I start trying to start trying to visualize things. His sister gave him a book called The Secret. It was about a law of attraction and how to manifest your dreams into reality. He was laughing at her first for what kind of mumbo jumbo she was trying to give him. But then he also watched a movie based on this book and he started to experiment with this stuff. After few successes, he started to believe that he is unstoppable and he can achieve anything he wants in his life. He hated his job as a plumber at the time. I was, I was a plumber, I was, uh, I was an apprentice plumber. I did a year in that and it just, it just wasn't for me. So he decided he's gonna be the champion of the world in mixed martial arts. My dream is to be world champion, world lightweight champion in the UFC, have more money than I know what to deal with and have a great life for my, my kids, my grandkids. Everyone in my, in my family, everyone uh, that's, that's come up with me. He was about 23, living on social security, but training hard every day. He was visualizing in his mind that he's already the champion of UFC. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a, I am an Irish legend, that's true. man. I'm, I'm a living legend. Yeah, <laughs> I see myself as the champ already. Already? The, you're the featherweight champion yeah, already? Yeah, of course. I see myself as the champ from day one. Before I even started training, I always saw myself as the champ. That's now, how I see myself. I visualize myself already there. I visualize everything. I visualize this conversation. I visualize the walkout. I visualize everything going on. I know. I, know I have shots picked out that I'm going to throw in this fight in five weeks. You know what I mean? I, I have seen everything in my head, and now it's going to happen. You see it in your head. You're going to see it before your eyes. That's what I say. This law of attraction works like any other Newtonian law. You become what you think about. You become what you think about all day long. You know, if you have a clear, like, if you have a clear picture in your head of something that's, is going to happen, uh, and, and, and a clear belief in that it will happen no matter what, then no, nothing can stop it. You know what I mean? It is destined to happen, and that, that's what that's what happens. You know what I mean? It's, it's perfect. I know it works because when I was younger, I was also reading similar books. It helped me to reach my goals as well. Visualization was regarded as new age hype for many years. But research has shown that there is a strong scientific basis for why and how visualization works. Australian psychologist Alan Richardson made a little experiment. He took a group of basketball players and divided them in three groups. He tested each player's ability to make a three throws. The first group would practice 20 minutes every day. The second would only visualize making free throws, but no real practice was allowed. The third one would not practice, no visualize. The results were astounding. 
there was a significant improvement on the group that only visualized. They were almost as good as the guys who actually practiced. After I read about this, I also started to experiment with this stuff before my ice hockey or football games. Okay guys, it's time to go to play. Before the matches, I was visualizing myself scoring a hat-trick. It didn't always work out, but I started to score much more goals that year. When I was 25, I moved to Prague with zero money on my account, totally broke, but with the dream that I would become famous and rich. I remember that when I told to my friends about my dreams, they were laughing at me. <laughs> Man, you're a dreamer, stop dreaming. Vítejte u prvního jubilejního dílu tohoto pořadu. But I was absolutely sure I could do it. Erik Meldíka, Čeněk Stýblu, alias Vyná Brothers. Like, there was nothing which could stop me. If you see it in your mind, you can hold it in your hand. When Conor McGregor came to UFC, he started to say it out loud that he's gonna be a future champ champ. If you can see it here, and you have the courage enough to speak it, it will happen. A lot of times people believe in certain things, but they keep to themselves. They don't put it out there. If you truly believe in it, if you become vocal with it, you are creating that law of attraction and it will <clears throat> become reality. Arnold Schwarzenegger wrote in his book Total Recall that he also used the power of visualization for his success. When he was competing for the title of Mr. Olympia, he said he flown a few days earlier to the stadium. He spent a few hours every day on the stage imagining himself, how he is getting gold medal, how he is winning, how he is celebrating his win. Connor does the same thing. Before the fight, he goes into the octagon, climbs on the cage and mentally rehearses his celebration. It works because your mind is not able to distinguish what is real and what is just the imagination. Your body always reacts with the same feelings like if you experience reality. Why it works? There is a part of your brain called reticular activating system, RAS. RAS is teaching you what to notice. Have you ever bought a car or jacket or t-shirt and suddenly you started to see it everywhere? I think everybody did. But was it there before? Yes, it was, but after you purchase it, your brain is telling you, pay attention, this is important. Same is true with your goals. If you start to visualize, for example, that you are the best MMA fighter in the world, uh, your brain is suddenly pulling you to start to notice uh, how the best fighters are fighting, what are the best athletes in the world are doing to be the best. Those of you who are subscribed to this channel had probably some interest in finance or success before, and that's why you clicked on that button. So you decide what you want, and the brain will find a way to get there. As a viral brothers, when we set our goals to be the biggest YouTube channel in Czech Republic, the, to have the most views, to earn millions of dollars along the way, we didn't know how to reach that. But thanks to our goals, our brains were showing us the way. I remember I was visualizing uh, how I'm going on the street and people are stopping me. We are in Singapore and we met our friends. <laughs> and taking selfies with me and uh, telling me how funny our videos are. And it worked out. Before going to TV talk shows, I was visualizing myself saying funny stuff. Audience laughing. It worked perfectly. I was visualizing myself uh, giving to my mom her dream trip to China. <laughs> <laughs> and it all happened later on. Whatever goal you set in your mind, visualize it and work on it every day. There is no way you won't achieve it.
it's only what? It's only January of 2017. I'm already the face of the UFC. I'm already the face of boxing. I'm already the face of the WWE. And I'm already the face of Hollywood. And now tonight I'm the face of Manchester. Yeah, yeah.